It's a difficult sell, isn't it, for a player? Because you sign a contract in good faith. And I, and I know the wages handed out are astronomical and, and quite frankly stupid, particularly some of them at Barcelona. But there's a difference here. We're just coming through, hopefully, the end, or we're coming through this pandemic. If you're a club and you go to the players and say, listen, we don't want to furlough people and we've got lower paid staff, will you take a pay cut? I think that's wholly acceptable for players to, to say, yeah, you know, we're decent, we'll do that. But if you come to me and say, listen, we went out and signed players knowing that we can't get under this salary cap. Do you mind taking a cut to that contract that you signed in good faith and we gave you in good faith? That's a difficult sell for a player. That's a different scenario. You know, we're, de we're dealing just with bad management here. We're not dealing with, you know, the global situation that everybody's found themselves in when I think it paints a different scenario. So that... I don't see the wage cut for play. I think it's going to have to. They're going to have to get people out. They're going to, whatever by hook or crook. That's the only way they're going to do it. And I would be shocked if somebody said, "Oh yeah, you want to get Memphis Depay in under the radar? Oh, I'll take a 15% cut in my salary." Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, meanwhile, Javier Tebas is suggesting that Real Madrid and Barcelona are not interested in the cash injection because of their interest and their hopes to set up the Super League. Is that a part of it too, Sid? Right. Um, this is where it does get a bit complex. Is that a part of it? This is the assumption we have all made. This is the assumption that Javier Tebas is making. And I imagine, by the way, that his assumption is very well informed. Um, but, of course, there is not specifically that we know of a reason why you couldn't sign up to this La Liga agreement, which is your after all your domestic competition, and still look towards a Super League breakaway. Now, obviously, it's slightly problematic in that, presumably, if you sign up to this kind of deal with a financial institution, it, it would involve some sort of undertaking to stay in the league for the duration of that agreement, which, as we've talked about, would be 40 or 50 years. Right. So that's the first thing. But that's still just saying, OK, I, I stay part of the league. It's not necessarily saying I don't go to the Super League, which, of course, was there to replace the Champions League, not there to replace the domestic leagues. But talking to sports lawyers about this, talking about people who understand the mechanics of this, everybody uh, sort of basically comes up with the same conclusion. There must be somewhere in this agreement some sort of undertaking to not either break away or not form a European Super League. And, of course, we know that's what's underneath the surface here. We know, as we've seen last week, there was a meeting between Juventus, Barcelona and Real Madrid, that those three are still clinging to the Super League idea. That, by the way, is another whole question. Why? Why are they clinging to an idea that everybody knows is dead, at least in its previous form? But I think we have very, very significant battles for power and jurisdiction about to unfold in, in Spanish football and indeed in European football. And it turns out Ronald Koeman could have a battle of his own at the weekend to see who he can actually field in the Barcelona game against Real Sociedad. Coverage for that game starts at 1.30. It will be on ABC for you this weekend. Every game available on ESPN Plus as La Liga kicks off. And we will have previews and wraparound shows of many of these. And of course, ESPN FC telling you everything that happened at the end of the day's events. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.